So let me show you how you can build your own AI-powered apps with no code required while you train it based on your own data by simply uploading your data source, using the latest AI models and even earning subscription revenue. All this is possible with MindStudio. Whether you want to make a customer service chatbot for your website or business, talk to a PDF or simply create an AI character to chat with, MindStudio is very straightforward and easy to use. And the best part is, you can use most of its features for free. I will be showing you how to create an AI based on your own data and how to embed the AI on your own website as a support chatbot. Make sure to like the video so it reaches a wider audience as it really helps the channel. So let's start. First, click the link in the description to go to uai.ai. After signing in, you will see that you can browse thousands of the community's AI apps. They are categorized based on everything you might be looking for. For example, you have content creator, blog writer, management guru, and more. So, it's a good idea to check them out as you might find what you are looking for without creating your own. Note that most of these are free to use, and you can also try out the paid ones for free for a limited time. I will be showcasing a lot of MindStudio features in detail in the upcoming videos, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, let's click on Create AI, then New AI. Here you will see that you can choose a ready template for your AI or choose a blank one. For this video, we will choose a support agent. Any template you choose will take you to the main studio building. This is a no-code interface that makes it simple to create your custom AI-powered app. The builder is divided into three major sections. On the far left, you can manage all the data passed through to the AI. In the center is your main workspace, where you can write your system prompts and fine-tune all aspects of your AI. And on the right, you can test your AI using the live AI terminal. Now let's continue with the template we chose and create our custom support chatbot. Here we will see some instructions at the top of the page. Let's follow the instructions step by step. First, we will replace any text that is in bold. In our case, we will change industry to iPhone 15 as we will create a customer service representative for the new iPhone. You can also check the rest of the prompts below and edit them as you wish, but I will leave it as is. Next, let's upload any relevant product and service resources as a data source. To do this, navigate to the left where the data source tab is and we can add a new data source. Simply upload the file you want. In this case, we will upload the iPhone 15 user guide. Give it a name and a description. The last thing we need to do is to reference the data source we just uploaded. To do this, navigate to the Message Rules tab and under User Message Pre-Processing, we can select our new data source. Next, click on Model Settings to choose the underlying AI model for your app. You can choose from the best of today's models. This will likely be updated every time a new model is released. For this video, I will stick with Claude 2 as it's free and offers the best token limit. Now we are ready to publish our AI. So go to the Metadata tab, give your AI a name and a short description. You can also design the landing page for your AI to make it more user-friendly, but in this case, I will just disable it because we will embed the AI in our own website. Below we can see sharing where you can choose to make your AI public or private. If you set it to public, it will be available for everyone to use in the community, as we saw earlier. Another important option is the pricing. Here is where you decide if you want to offer the AI for free or set a subscription price for others to pay. To activate it, simply click Enroll Now and log in or create a new Stripe account and you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and publish our AI. Let's give it a try. Simply chat with the bot exactly like you would with ChatGPT. As you can see here, it referenced the user manual. And also at the beginning of the response, it empathizes with the user, which is very important when it comes to creating a customer service chatbot. Now that we know it's working, let's embed it into our own website. Let's go ahead and navigate back to MindStudio. Click Edit AI to get back to the metadata. Here, click on Embedding to get the API access. We need this to embed the AI into our website. But first, let's go to our website. Here I have a demo support page. Simply open an HTML embed block. Now when it asks you for the custom code, 
go back to the API access page and click on Enable. Copy the custom code and paste it into the embed block and click Save. The last thing we need to do is to authorize our domain for the chatbot to work. Simply input your website domain and hit Save. Publish your page and preview it to test the customer service chatbot. And that's it. Now you have a customer support chatbot that will use your own data source to answer your customers instantly. Let me know in the comments if you encounter any issues and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos where we will create more advanced AI apps using this powerful platform. Thanks to MindStudio for making such a great tool and for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.